Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, September 27, 2024. In this video, we're going to look at a possible strike that will occur starting on Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, and will uh, include dock workers from Maine to Texas. Now, first, the Laura's View part of this and just an advisory. In case you're watching this is at a later date, I will put a couple of links to some current articles in the video description box so you can easily access this information. But as I'm making this video, a simple search with the browser search engine of your choice saying possible strike or doc strike is gonna get you all the information you need to get up to speed. Now let's think about this logically as the uh, mainstream media does not want us to do. First of all, any possible strike is not really going to affect the West Coast at all because the West Coast ports aren't going to be included in this potential strike. And many of our imports and exports come to us through Canada and Mexico. So while there will be some supply chain disruptions if this happens, it's by no means a coast-to-coast -coast calamity situation, number one. Number two, could it disrupt us? us being consumers going to the store and expecting to find what we want on the shelves. It's possible, but think about this. Any big supply disruption is going to look bad for the current perceived administration of the United States. That administration is going to want at all costs to have them seem to <clears throat> have the well-being of their citizens in mind with the actions they take. So it's going to, if they let it happen, if it does somehow come to pass, it's going to push more and more people towards the Republican side of things where retail is an important factor and the economy is more prioritized and the needs of the citizens have traditionally been more prioritized. So that almost makes you think, do we want a strike? <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I think life is challenging enough without having additional challenges layered on top of it. Number one, or maybe I'm on number two right now. So uh, that's just my thought of it. Am I worried about it? I want to talk a little bit about worry too, so bear with me. I tell you that fear is a useless emotion. It truly is. It's what we've been programmed to feel in so many cases, and it's useless unless you're truly in an adrenalized, um, <clears throat> truly fear-inducing situation where you need to be fearful and be taking evasive action, fight or flight, that kind of thing. I'm not saying that we should never feel fear, but really when you get down to it, the times and ways in which we should feel fear are very, very few and far between. Now, worry is not so much a useless emotion that unless it's something you're worrying about that you can, you're just simply worrying about what action to take, but you are planning to take an action, then worry can also be kind of useless too. So am I going to lay awake at night worrying about a possible dock worker strike and I'm on the East Coast nowadays that could affect me? No, I'm not going to. Am I going to react impulsively at this possible news? No, I'm not. You know what I did? Made sure my car was full. And on Tuesday, in case there's a strike, I'll make sure my car's full. Although if there's supply chain interruptions for fuel, I doubt we'll see that you know quickly. I've got, just like I've always got, a little cash on hand and more food than I actually need for the next few days. And that's it. I've got candles if the heat goes out. I've got a wind-up battery radio and phone recharger. You know, just a few little things like that that Tell me if there's an emergency, I can take some sensible actions and minimize the impact that happens to me and my loved ones. And if you're in a position where you've been able to prep more extensively than that, good for you. And if you can't, I would say don't worry about it. If I was on an extremely limited budget, I might make sure I had an extra bag of rice or two and an extra thing of beans or two, you know, and call it good. We do what we can to prepare for the unexpected, right? That's the way life goes. But let's ask the universe what they want us to know about this possible strike, okay? Bearing in mind that it will be on the East Coast of the United States, it will not affect the West Coast or imports and exports coming through and to and from Canada or Mexico. So keeping it in perspective. 
Let's see what the universe wants us to know about this possible strike that will start on October 1st, which coincidentally is when Congress goes on hiatus for a month and the federal government's new fiscal year starts. Those are the things I'm kind of watching to see what happens about those. Okay, but we're going to ask the universe for insights and information. Um, there will be a yes or no element to this question. I'm going to say, is it? can we anticipate a strike from dock workers as is being reported currently in the mainstream media and uh, insights and information if so. Regardless, insights and information, let's put it that way. Okay. All right, I'm gonna switch the camera. Don't have to move the cat, she moved herself. And uh, we'll uh, see what the universe wants us to know. Okay. Can the um, East Coast of the United States anticipate a dock worker strike uh, effective October 1st, plus additional insights and information about uh, this event or supply chain interruptions? Okay, we have a Eight of Cups, the Lovers showing up, the Magician, I'm not worried, <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Page of Wands, and the King of Wands. I'm sorry for the glare. I'm making this at a time of day when there's a lot of uh, light coming in. Let me uh, see if I can deal with that. But if not, then just forgive the glare and let's keep going. You guys know by now, this isn't a high-tech production. There, that should be better. Let's take a look at what the cards are telling us. I'm going to share with you the insights that I'm getting from the cards as a collective, and then we'll um, look at uh, what each card is saying as, as far as its position and uh, the element that's kind of jumping out to be noticed in today's read. Okay, so the situation is being shown by the Eight of Cups, which talks about kind of a, a time apart. So this tells me right now that there is still a potential for it. However, it's uh, we've got the, the lover's card giving us more insights and information, and this is a major arcana card. So that means that the insights we're getting from this card are pretty well set in stone. And that means that the, the needs of others are being well considered as far as this action goes. Now, the recent past, we've got the magician showing up, another major arcana, and he is kind of king of manifesting, making things that are needed possible with infinite possibilities uh, and limitless action access to all elements that are needed for that manifestation. When he shows up, it's kind of a, a good thing because he can make manifest what is needed, wanted, or desired. Now, the, uh, the dog workers need to be fairly compensated in this inflation-ridden economy for their work. They, they, and that's really all they're wanting, while those above them are trying to use this for whether it's uh, doom and gloom. Uh, I saw some alarming, alarmist, not alarming, alarmist type of social media posts about it instead of, you know, just like I said, let's look at this logically. Let's see who this could affect and, and you know, that kind of thing. So if a retired teacher tarot reader can be logical and sensible, surely our representatives could. <laughs> We're being reassured that if it does happen, haven't got a hard yes on it yet, although the potential's there, okay, the, uh, that it's going to be a very temporary situation if it does. The White Hats are kind of monitoring the situation and ready to step in, including possibly even having a National Guard um, do some offloading and getting, um, you know, critical supplies to where they're needed if that became a necessity. And then the King of Wands shows up a leadership and vision. So they can kind of see through the, um, the manufactured elements of this situation. Okay. They're trying to be cognizant and um, understanding about what's going on with the, the rank and file of those union workers who are simply needing a wage that will help their wa a wage increase that helps them stay up with the uh, co high cost of 
uh, living in these inflationary times. So they don't want to step on those kind of rights and freedoms. But again, kind of balancing needs and wants and saying, okay, in the short term, in the short term, we can deal with some, you know, slight shortages because we still have things coming in from other places, number one. Uh, number two, the more people are uncomfortable with this administration, the more they're going to be ready for a change. And that, again, is going to motivate the Democrats to uh, not just sit on their haunches on this one. So let's see. Looking forward again, we've got the five telling us it'll be a temporary situation if it happens. OK, I'm going to get four more cards just because I, I kind of like to get a full unless it's a really trivial uh, type of question or it's been so positively answered, I like to get these other layers. Again, these cards will be less insightful than the two wands that showed up here uh, and looking at the near future. Okay, <laughs> nine of swords. I'm laughing because this card always has one basic message that while there is possibly some cause for worry, there is not nearly, and I was talking about worry just a while ago, there is not nearly as much cause for worry as you're being told there is. We got our hard yes with the Ace of Wands, so it does look like we can look for at least a short-term type of um, strike situation from those uh, union members. The uh, Nine of Wands and the final card, Queen of Wands. Okay, the uh, this is a very optimistic card, okay? This is a termination card, so this is kind of acknowledging the determination of, again, those rank-and-file members of the union who feel like they're justified in going on strike. Absolutely. And again, um, the uh, the White Hats are going to honor that, uh, but still making sure in their own quiet way that whatever situation arises is temporary in nature and resolves in a way that uh, we can be really optimistic about. Because this card, the Queen of Wands, besides being brutally honest, she's not known for her attack, but she is known for her honesty. <laughs> she's a card of optimism. OK, and uh, just a way to look forward and uh, speak truth to power. You know, she is power, but she can speak truth to even greater power because she just is real secure. And uh, I love the fact that uh, there's there's a kitty cat in this picture. Now, looking, I don't look at some of the other meanings for it, but just the fact we know our animal friends, if they are comfortable with us, they'll turn their back to us. And this cat is looking out, has absolutely no worry about what the motives and actions of the queen behind her will be. And uh, I kind of see myself that way too, just trusting that uh, this, this information we're getting tells us to, uh, we can look ahead and not worry quite as much as we might think we had. Again, you know, there might be some, some short-term issues and uh, but they're not going to be as nearly as bad as the the gloomers are telling us and the doomers are telling us so i like the uh, i like the results and i thank the universe for such uh, insightful sharing now for the recap there's been some chatter on mainstream media as well as alt media about a possible upcoming strike that will happen with uh, uh dock workers from Maine to Texas, effective October 1st. And I've had numerous people ask me to do a read on that and ask me if they should be concerned and worried. Well, one of the things we did was we talked about worry and how the only time to really indulge in worry is when you're choosing a point of action to take as a result of that worry, a response. Worrying about things we cannot change, whether it's the ozone layer, something like that is just absolutely pointless. So we want to be very mindful when we worry about something that it is at part of a process of choosing an action to take. And I shared with the, you guys that my actions are going to be just some sensible, making sure I've got some things, you know, enough for a short-term disruption. Okay, I refilled a prescription I take. I've got a couple extra weeks worth of toilet paper on hand. <laughs> I'll make sure my car is full, a little cash on hand, just things I would do normally, just anticipating, you know, that we are any day now. <laughs> I'm anticipating some sort of world change, and I want to be as ready to expect the unexpected as possible. And as I always say, I want to be able to look back on how I dealt with the unexpected and be proud of myself and not ashamed of it. And I hope that's a goal that you guys have, because I feel like it's a very worthy goal. Now, as for what the cards had to say, the potential strike 
was indicated by the Eight of Cups. So they are prepared to walk, to turn away, and to spend some time off the job to get their point across. This uh, um, is the, the rank and file skilled membership. They want to be fairly compensated in these inflationary times for the work they do, and they have a right to request that. And uh, But there's go also, we got some information that What's going on with these disruptions? There's still a lot of mindfulness happening on the part of the White Hats and others to uh, um, allow that expression, which is what that strike would be. But also just kind of keep in mind, you know, critical needs, services, things like that. Do I think that, uh, I think if a hospital <laughs> needs oxygen tanks refilled, they're going to be able to get them. You know, if your favorite bread brand's not available for a couple of days, too bad. <laughs> so, again, critical needs are going to be of concern. The White Hats are keeping an eye on the situation, again, not infringing on the right of those workers to um, go on strike, uh, to have their um, message heard and to have the results that they're wanting to have. So, the uh, yeah, there's a lot of determination. Now, we did get a, a hard yes with the Ace of Wands saying, yeah, we can expect at least a short-term one. But we got several cards that just said, hey, but don't worry. There's not nearly as much to worry about. When isn't this the case? <laughs> as what the mainstream is going to tell you, okay? We don't need to rush to the store or anything like that. You know, it, you know, it just... We don't need to empty out shelves and have three years worth of something sitting in our garage. We just don't need to do that. Just reasonable preparation like you would anytime you're thinking, you know, storm season's upon us or, you know, I know there's some shenanigans that are being thought about. I want to be ready to stay home for a few days and not have to go out. Whatever it is that you might be doing, you know, reasonably. And if you're a long-term prepper, God bless you. And my, back in the day, that was, that was what I was shooting for. Um, Things change, and now I just want to be ready to handle short-term disruptions in uh, um, a little more comfort than people that don't have any preparations might do. That's good enough for me. <laughs> so the uh, magician, also another major arcana showed up in the recent past, uh, just talking about manifesting. So again, there is the ability to manifest something that's critically needed. Uh, there's going to be an eye to that. So... It does look like whatever situation comes up, the five indicates it's short-term. Five energy is always short-term energy. So we got a yes, we can anticipate that happening. But again, then looking at some of the motivations behind that, the Democrats are not going to want this to go drag on and on because the more people suffer, the more they're going to associate that suffering with the current um, perceived uh, administration and vote for change. So... I don't see it going on for very long if it does happen at all. And I shouldn't say if, because I want to honor what the cards told us. And the cards said, yes, you can anticipate that actually being voted on and acted on, but not uh, for very long. So that's it for this video. And I thank you so much for your time, attention, viewership, for your likes, for subscribing, and for all of those who resubscribe. <laughs> and I just appreciate you so much. Very, very much. So until next time. And over the weekend, I'll do my peek ahead video. But until that comes out, I wish you love, light, and all things bright.